Hey, what's up guys? It's Colton Stone here and today I want to kind of go over how to play the chord melody that I made for the song Redbone by Childish Gambino. This frame is really small. You can't really see all of my head. Ah, it's okay. Now what a chord melody is, is when we take the chords of a song and the melody of the song and we play them both at the same time. So you have to find ways of voicing the chords and being able to move around within those chords to get both of those things happening at the same time. Really interesting stuff, really fun to do. And I encourage you to try to take songs and do this yourself because it is a great exercise. It'll really make you a better player. But for today, I'm gonna show you how I did that for the song Redbone by Childish Gambino. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you haven't seen that original video that I posted, make sure you hop over there and watch that first so you have a basis to go off of. So the first thing I want to point out is I did change the key of this song. I'm playing it in the key of C. The reason behind that is just because when I wrote it, I was just playing around in the key of C, kind of stumbled upon the melody line to it, and decided, hey, I'm going to make a chord melody out of it. And so I went with it. And then when I finished it up, I tried to put it back in the original key, and some of these chord voicings and stuff like that didn't work right. So I just kept it in C and uh, decided to go with it. Let's go over what the melody would be in the key of C. So it would go something like this. The chord progression is just going to be 4, 5, and 6. So in the key of C, that's F, G, A minor. All right, let's get into it. So the first chord that I'm going to be playing is F. I'm going to play an F major 7 here using this voicing. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to play this low F right here. Then play... This is basically like a D minor 7 chord, but it's using the, the notes to make it like an F, so it's like an F6, and then I'm hammering on to the major 7. And then I'm playing the melody. After I play this note, so I'm just walking it down. After I play that, we go to the 5 chord, which is G. I'm just doing the regular A shape for G. And I'm playing, so... This is my high note, this 12th fret on the B string. That's my high note. Then I play the 12th fret on the G string. Then the 9th fret on the G string. Okay. Then I'm going to move it down here to the 5th fret, and I'm going to play this A minor 7 chord. All right, so I'm just barring across the 5th fret on the four smallest strings of the guitar. After that, I'm doing some like rhythmic hits, like. Then I'm gonna play this walk up. So the melody's gonna go. But I'm gonna walk some chords up behind that or underneath that. So I'm gonna start with that same A minor 7 that I was playing. Then I'm gonna play B diminished. So that's 6th fret, 7th, 6th, 7th. Then this A minor chord. And then this E chordal. So a chordal is a, uh, a chordal chord is something that's stacked in fourths. It's just repetitive fourths stacked on top of each other. It's kind of functioning as like a, you know, an extension of this F major seven here. Just adding in a few more color tones. In fact, all this stuff, other than this B diminished, that's just kind of like a passing chord. This A minor 7 and this uh, just A minor are both functioning as just extensions of the F major chord. Because an F major is the same thing as like an A minor just with an F in the bass, right? An F major 7 is the same as an A minor with an F in the bass. So... Then we're gonna do that same chord we had in the beginning. But I'm not gonna hit this low F this time. I'm just gonna. So that whole walk up is like. All right, then I'm gonna play the five chord. Again, that's gonna be G, but this time I'm gonna play G dominant. Okay, so that's 10th fret, 12th, 10th, 12th. And then I'm going to play the melody off of that, so it's going to go, so 12, move it up to the 13th, 
then the 10th fret of the E string, then this A minor 7 chord is where we're going to end it. From there, it repeats, so the song repeats over, of course, but it changes the ending a little bit. So we're going to play all that again. Alright, here's that different ending. So it's still going to be the G chord, but I'm just going to hit the low G right here. And then I'm going to play B and E on the same fret. So I'm going to start on the 11th fret and slide it up to the 12th. Then 10th doing the same thing, that B and E right there. Then finishing it on that A minor 7. Okay, here's the whole thing slowly for you. All right guys, that's a really simple, quick tutorial for how to play that chord melody that I done on the song Red Bone by Childish Gambino. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. That really helps YouTube creators out more than you even know. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload every Thursday with content like this, talking about music. Sometimes it's about recording, sometimes it's about song tutorials, sometimes it's about gear, sometimes it's about uh, music theory. So if you do enjoy that kind of content, make sure that you hit that bell notification so you can be notified. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Colton Stone. Over there, I post videos of me playing on my story and on my feed and stuff like that. Sometimes don't always make it over to YouTube. And it's also a great way of getting in contact with me. I do lessons through Skype and FaceTime, as well as session work and doing gigs and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of that, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram and get in touch with me in that way. All right, that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy that, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.